Four people. Amy, you're in charge. So on with the next one. Best song, yes? Good, good. good. <coughs> the final nomination for best song this evening represents a tour de force in the fight of theatrical arts. One can talk of the rich vein of com comedy present in the Italian works of the comedian Arte. One can speak darkly of the interpretive dance and forthright and passion debate can be had in the latter works of William Shakespeare. But truly we are lost without someone speaking and moving their hands at the same time to a child's right. Here to represent the pinnacle of theatrical excesser, Julie Neal, Christina Sander, and Chi Man, performing Patty Cake. <laughs> Congratulations have to go out to a lot of people. Um, you all know who you are, and you're mostly sitting in this room, so, you know, congratulations, fantastic. Um, it's been amazing. Yeah. You know, not only is this like a really uh, a great society for having fun and just pissing about as we do, you know, as we're doing tonight, but things also seem to happen in a very kind of well-organized and really, you know, professional way, usually. Um, <clears throat> You know, and I think that's a really good thing. I think that's a great thing for a, for a university society, you know, not only to have a good time, but also to give something back. And we do, you know, we put on plays that not only entertain ourselves, but actually entertain lots of people, and lots of people this year, you know, six plays. Uh, that shows a lot of commitment, I think. And, um, you know, the fact that we can all still sit here at the end of it and, and still be talking to each other and still be sitting next to each other is again something that we should congratulate ourselves about since this is a celebration through self-congratulations. Self-indulgence and self-congratulations. Yeah, all of that. Anyway, you yeah, know, I've had a few now. Um, <clears throat> and I'm hoping, I really am hoping, and I really am incredibly sure that next year will be even better than this one, and it really has a tough act to follow. You know, I've been involved in most of the shows, and I've had a really, really great time, and I hope you all have too. And I think that's the main point of it. Anyway, lifetime lifetime achievement? Not really. No lifetime members. We're awarding uh, uh, awards for lifetime membership of Rostra. Now this is more of a symbolic thing than anything kind of you know practical. You don't really get anything. You don't win a bottle of champagne because I'm a bit stingy for that. Um, but you know, <laughs> but you know this this shows I think that. that the work these people have done over the course of their time in Rostra and just the fun they've had and just 
you know, the, the, the life they brought to the place um, does not go unappreciated. And there are a lot of people leaving this year who would be uh, wholly, um, uh, you know, suitable for this. But we can't give it out to everyone. So we initially thought we'd give it out to maybe just a couple of people, but that just proved absolutely impossible because this is a positive thing and it has to go to... I'm rambling. Anyway, <coughs> the first Lifetime uh, Achievement Award uh, is given to Miss Danny Mangano because... Not only has she been a wholly committed and fantastic member of Rostra for about two and a half years or something, she pretty much single-handedly organised the Fringe last year, which <laughs> proved beyond me this year. So I think that's an amazing achievement, and she'll be very sorely missed when she heads off to uh, Italy next year. So congratulations, Danny. You will all be welcome. too emotional because I have a bo bottle of half of wine. So. A bottle of half wine? <laughs> <laughs> bottle and a half of wine. Um, I've loved being in Rostra and it was the best decision I ever made at university joining Rostra. I mean, as some of you know, I was in soda for a while. <laughs> but but I, did, I did change and I joined Rostra and it's, it's been wonderful and I, I will miss you all dearly. Okay, uh, the second award, I'll announce her name after I've done the speech. Mm. Uh, it goes to one of the people who I think is probably the, one of the unsung heroes, and yet she is, I don't think I'm saying anything too out of term, and I say I think she's one of the most natural actresses we've had in Rostra, certainly one of the best I've seen. She's played some fantastic parts, she's done every play she could have done since she's been here. And although she, um, she hasn't ever been on the committee, she hasn't produced or directed, I think she's had a major, major influence on virtually everyone she's met, and uh, you know, I, I think I can say that quite confidently. She's been fantastic in attracting new members to Rostra. Absolutely fantastic. You know, she was brilliant to me when I joined. I think she's, uh, you know, a lot of the people who joined this year um, have felt uh, Christina's warmth. Christina, stand up, ladies. <laughs> She's been not only an actor playing lead parts in about three or four shows and, and very, very well indeed. She's been a secretary for a year, she's been a director, she's been a producer. She's been incredibly influential on everyone and she's been fantastic at every party, at everything. She's always been there right till the end. Pissed as everyone. <laughs> fantastic. Um, Kirsty Harrison, ladies and gentlemen. self-proclaimed king of Rostra. Uh, yeah, so what more can I say? He, um, you know, he's been a director, he's he directed and produced, he's been an actor in, in lots of things, and uh, he's been chairman. But I think that's kind of, all those, although in, incredible in themselves, are overtaken by the fact that he's completely transformed uh, this society. And, you know, that goes from what a lot of the people who've been here before me, from... 